No Chris Gaines. No. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Gentleman's Den. It's a place where you go to shoot shit with your buddies, drink a bunch of beers, eat a bunch of edibles. <laughs> I am Sean, and of course, always to my left is Frankie, a.k.a. Francis. How we doing? And to my right, as always, is Jeff. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> Thank you, Marshawn, for showing up. Uh, so how was everybody's week? Oh, glad to be here. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is where I work up to. All week just gets me to here. That's the goal, right? Is to get here, have a couple cocktails. I feel like we established that. High goals. Yeah. <laughs> Set your goals low, you'll never be disappointed. If you're achieving them all, you know what I mean? If you achieve all your goals, you're winning. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't make plans, ever. Ever. Because I'll never be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, we're going to Dell's. Oh, yeah, let's go to fucking this restaurant. Let's go over here and let's do this and let's do that. And then we go up there and this restaurant's closed and everyone's like, pooh, I'm so sad. I'm like, whatever. No expectations. It's like that old uh, Saturday Night Live skit. Lowered expectations. Like if you meet a hot chick and you're like, God, her pussy's going to be so good. (laughs) And it's trash. (laughs) Like you're just like, you know, you just got to, you just got to take it as it is, man. (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes you just can't take it as it is. <laughs> just so everyone can get a visual, it's a ninja <laughs> that just fucking crawled out of my garage. <laughs> you fucking barrel rolled, bro. <laughs> the, the door is closed a little bit more than it was the last time. Well, the problem either. is, the problem is, he took 15 blue chews, and it's hard to roll <laughs> under a garage with a 15 inch boner. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not much you can do. Once again, you know Blue Chew is not a sponsor of our podcast, uh, <laughs> but hey, we would love it to be. Oh, he got stuck. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, okay. boring. <laughs> <laughs> he like started rolling, got to his stomach. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe those Blue Chews weren't a good decision. <laughs> that was hard kickstand. Oh. I can't barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> hard kickstand. Fuck, you think that's how door stoppers were invented? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy, took, <laughs> some guy took a bunch of Viagra and it's like tried to roll over and he's like, oh, stuck. He's that's like, what if we put this behind a door? <laughs> that's how the kickstand was invented. Stops you from tipping over. So we were talking earlier about uh, certain high level musicians and their shitty alter ego. It's just weird, man. It's, uh, you know. Garth Brooks became Chris Gaines. I understand, like, you know, Hannah Montana was like a TV show. Yeah. So she's a, <laughs> yeah. She's yeah, a she regular did. girl and a pop star. Yeah. But when an actual megastar, megastar like fucking becomes stratosphere. Frankie is looking at us like <laughs> we're fucking crazy. How could you see I'm looking at you? I have glasses on. I, I know. On. Because you're just smiling and staring. Do like you, you know s- who Chris Gaines <laughs> is? Have you, you just said it's the... Uh, John McGraw guy. <laughs> He's the country motherfucker. Tug McGraw, first baseman for the San Diego Padres in 72. No, sir. Betting next. John I'm not McGraw. Wrong. John McGraw. I'm not wrong. Uh, it would be Garth Brooks. So. Yeah, that guy. Him too. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I, sold, I sold 40 million country albums. I'm gonna try Let me put this, this wig out. on quick. Maybe he just grow a soul patch. Which I don't even know if he grew that soul patch or if they just glued <laughs> I don't it know. on. It was beautiful. I, I think they glued that on. Is this a real I thing? had a soul patch. They, for they, a while. Shaved, they shaved his grundle and used the, that hair for his. All I'm embarrassed to say the it. soul patch in uh, that Adam Sandler movie where he's look at the soul patch with Jennifer Aniston. Soul patch. Oh yeah. I'm embarrassed to say I had a chin strip. Or chin off. strip. A chin, chin strap. strip around his face. Yeah, but chin, you, chin strip. You also had, had chin strip mustache. 
You also the had was big. a fro that connected to the yeah, chin strap. Yeah, you did strap. your hair. Yeah, but that so was it looked like you were wearing a that football was in high school, guys. I yeah. love Justin Timberlake. Oh that my fucking God. fro got me so much. Sniz. <laughs> Snapper. Is Boner Patrol rolling around outside? He might be stuck. We should go help him. <laughs> you hear the help, door? I need an adult. It's just creaking. <laughs> 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 At least I know he made it to I got 16 car. fucking cats upstairs and they're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Looked at me like I walked in there, looked at me like a piece of flame and yawn. They're like, yeah, I'm going to follow this guy to the bathroom. <laughs> just like little tiger. Chunk like, out this of this big guy like Yeah, see? it's like taking down an elephant. <laughs> I'm going to take a chunk <laughs> out of him. <laughs> they can do it. <laughs> I'm going to bite his Achilles tendon and call him. Fuck it, we're going to take him out. Yeah, once they take they're your Achilles out, you're wounded. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you can't walk with no Achilles. <laughs> then they strike. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck, man. Rain. I bet his cats can take you down. Oh, so what did you, you guys learn this week? Anything? What did I learn this week? <laughs> that there are way too many Democratic candidates for president. I don't know what that means. Either, yeah, I'm not following. They, they had, I know there's a lot of dumb assholes on the road. <laughs> oh my Learn how God. to drive. <laughs> Seriously, today was the worst day. 35 and a 55 for literally five miles. Yeah, not just one person. But then Four. after that guy turned, Four. another person Four drove 35. People. Four people. <sighs> you know, I was thinking about the other day. No, tell us. Fucked up brain. <laughs> 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 All right, so everyone gets so fucking pissed off when they're following someone and they're going the exact speed limit, right? Yeah. Everyone wonders why cops shoot people because everyone goes the expect. The exact, exact speed, speed limit, limit in front of cops all day long. No, I got to go two or three over. You imagine fucking dealing that shit. I, I, if I'm anything less than five over, I'm happy. Even with a cop behind me, I'm blasting Judas Priest, breaking, <laughs> and I'm fucking going three over. <laughs> three over. Arm out the window, hair in the wind, would not a care in the Flicking world. Flicking my cigarette right on the street. Flicking the right. cigarette right on the street. I don't spit, give no fuck. Spitting in people's eyes as they're picking up the garbage. It's a fucking beautiful thing, guys. I'm a fucking rebel. I don't know if you guys know this about me. America. Jeff, Goddamn American. Jeff never rewound his movies when he returned them. No. No, never. fucking rebel. Never Such rewound. Such a badass. My fucking hero. Like, they, fuck again. My idol. They had to use one of them rewinders in the shape of a 1987 uh, Mercedes-Benz <laughs> coupe. <laughs> what, a fucking, what a great time we live in now. Yeah, no rewinding. <sighs> That, that like, everything's instant. Like, I hate everyone I remember, on their phones. We used to go and we'd like rent the same fucking movies all the time. Yeah. Now these kids got Netflix, shit Hulu, on yeah, demand Hulu, right movies, at their fingertips. Non stop it or horrible. Off the chain. Who knew they would have been comedy back then? You guys seen any good movies lately? I haven't. Um, <laughs> what did I just watch? That was, oh, you know what movie I did just watch because I needed a laugh? Biker Boys. How dare you. <laughs> That's a true story. Kid How Rock, dare you? Kid Rock wearing a goddamn dog collar throughout the whole movie with his <laughs> bird chest out. Oh, Feel God free. Damn it. It's like, who out of all those groups was afraid of Kid Rock going to whoop their ass when you got Lawrence Fishburne? Dude, and, those were all gangsters in the hood. That was. Oh, it, I'm sorry. It was like. These dudes are all jack black dudes, and then there's Kid Rock, and they're all supposed to be afraid of him, and his arms are the size of my fucking Why do all these, like, movies... I'm not saying it's a good movie, but why do all these, like... There's decent movies where it just has the shittiest fucking story it starts off with. Oh, God. What the fuck? They just think that the cast is going to improv and make it good. The shittiest... One of my favorite movies of all time is Above the Rim. The beginning of that movie... Yeah. Made no sense. I don't sense. get it. Made no this sense. This guy trying to touch the backboard and jumps off the roof. Of yeah. <laughs> the the backboard breaks and he goes flying off the roof. Number one, why is there a basketball hoop on the roof? Yeah, no one should be playing basketball on the roof. Yeah, who's fetching that ball? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've never once shot an air ball and had that thing, just, the ball just go off there and crush someone in the fucking head? It was unbelievable. No, man. That doesn't that happen in movies. Movie, with Tupac's the finest. With the razor blade in his lip. God you know that Mr. Right. Mr. Lady? Basketballs Mr. be Mr. taking people out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that air conditioner didn't stop her. 
So that's it, huh? What about uh, Stranger Things is coming up? Are you fucking pumped or what? I can't fucking wait. That's a, that's uh, you guys. Yeah, I never bro. forgot uh, into it. You need you need to watch it. it Sean, Stranger you're things one of those guys that's so like good. thinks he's too cool because he hasn't seen it. I thought no. I was too cool. No, I've and then wanted, I've wanted, I've wanted and then to watch it. Actually. Forced you. To I watch did it make it like four episodes. episodes, and I was so fucked up. I was like, "What is going on? You got to sit down and commit. It is amazing." Well, yeah, I, you got to keep an open mind. It's an awesome show. Oh no, I understand. I've wanted to watch it. I just because it everything. I love it. It's got the 80s. Yeah. It 80s is. nostalgia. Right. Ghostbusters costumes. I had that. Right. You can relate. You feel You feel the Dungeons connection. Dungeons and Dragons. Never played it. <laughs> <laughs> never had it. <laughs> not now, not never. No, once, nah, not ever. shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I just never got into it. It's, you know, I never got into Lord of the Rings. I never got into any of that kind of stuff. I love all that stuff. Reason. I love Harry Potter. Like I, the, I like to. Like if you don't, if just you imagine. haven't seen Lord of the Rings and don't want to watch it, just watch Willow because it's an hour and a half long, and it's a better movie. It's the same story. There's a lot of bad ones. I actually do like. What's the worst movie you've watched lately besides the one with the <laughs> aliens and the four kids you made me watch? What the hell is that called? Oh, the uh, Rim of the World that was on Netflix. <laughs> oh God, yeah, trash. That was pretty bad. <laughs> That was pretty bad. Uh, pound sign trash. Pound that sign was trash. Horrible. Uh, I watched that wine country movie. By yourself? You is that queer? No, not by myself. <laughs> but the box of tissues. No, <laughs> no. Like there was none of that in there. It was just none of that. It was just fucking vanilla, cheap comedy throughout the whole fucking thing. It, it was the most, it, in all honesty, it was the most lazily written movie I've watched in a long I time. I have vanilla like vanilla. Yeah. Ice? Cone. Ice. Baby. Vanilla cones and like, you know, yeah, but, were, ice yeah, cream. Yeah, but vanilla cones that have to be dipped in cherry. Yeah, I do like so it. So then shut up. There was no cherry dip. This was just plain straight vanilla. In fact, just imagine this, wasn't, was. this wasn't even vanilla. This was, remember the Simpsons when this Bart went over to uh, the Flanders house? And they're like, who wants ice milk? And it's like, ooh, wintergreen for me. And it's, oh, original flavor for me. It was original flavor ice milk. That's not how that, that writing that's was. That's how good that movie was. That reminds me of flavor. my childhood. Because, you know, when I was growing up and we were fucking broke as shit. It had a lot of ice milk. I'd fucking go to someone else's house. I'm like, mom, they got a fuck ton of pop. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yeah. They've got two cases. <laughs> Go drink out of the hose. I remember I went to my buddy's house and I came back and I was like, they have the best fucking milk. It's vitamin D. <laughs> oh, I was drinking the thick, the thicky <laughs> thick. 2%, man. I'm like, yeah, well, we drink fucking skim in this house. Oh my That's God. why you're so skinny. Well, actually, you don't drink skim. You would, they would drink the vitamin D halfway down and fill it up with water and then you get your skim milk. How dare you. Ew. It's mm. not how we did it at all. Mm. So, so gross. I was so poor, my milk was powdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just add, add water. Cereal with water? Just add water. Cereal, I, what's that? I, I hate when I go to a restaurant and they get and I order chocolate milk and it's the fucking... They Hershey's? Just squirt, they just squirt yeah. the Hershey's and it's they're like, real what the milk? fuck is this? I want that real shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- you know, throw it in the blender at least to make it look right. like you... Like, I, I can still see the syrup on the side of the fucking <laughs> glass here. Like, you yeah. didn't even mix it properly. <laughs> and I want that... And I want that shit as dark as the... As dark as midnight. I used to love the Edebevix in the city. Where they would treat you like shit. They'd give you. Oh, that was fucking great. Do you remember when they actually. I would love taking people there that, like, didn't know. Right. And they're like, damn, that bitch is rude. Right. (laughs) Waiter, waitress is an asshole. Yeah. (laughs) But they had on the menu, too, that there was vanilla Coke, because vanilla Coke was a thing, you know? Yeah. And then they had chocolate Coke. I'm like, what's this? Yeah, they. they, It's all old fountain sodas. You fell for it. No, I fell for it and ordered a chocolate Coke. This bitch came up with a Coke and a Hershey syrup bottle and poured it in my Coke and said, there's your chocolate Coke. I was like, you fucking serious? I drank it. It was horrible. Yeah. $7. Yeah, it was like $7. Then they got the world's smallest Sundays for like 10 bucks. It's literally in a shot glass. You're like, what the fuck? I'm fatter than this. I need more. More. I need more than this. I'm going to need 12 of these. I like the good bag of milk they have at the diners where they just go up there and fill up that chocolate milk and it comes out fucking thick as scrambled eggs. Yeah. I need milk out of a glass. And it's yeah, it be can't be out of glass. plastic. It's got to be out of glass for yeah, sure. I don't want any plastic cups. Ooh, I chocolate want malts. Chocolate I want to drink my milk cold as fuck out of a nice Not glass. Too cold. glass. glass. 
No ice in it. You know what's weird? Is I can't drink from the same spot on a glass. I take a sip from a glass. That's because your I lipstick gets all over it. I got these big, beautiful lips. My Thor talk comes right here. Mm. It's mostly- but what's weird, this is what's really weird. So I do that, and I've done it since I was a kid. I didn't grow up with my sister. We're half-sisters. She's much older than me. We were hanging out for one holiday, and I was staying with her, and we were drinking a glass of milk with dinner, and she did the same exact thing. She didn't drink from the same spot on the glass, and we never grew up around each other, but... Well, maybe it's inherent. Right? It's just the weird little ticks and stuff you do. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, I'm sure shit that me and my brother do that are exactly like... Right, it just blows your mind how crazy, like, you know, astrology and shit is. Look at the stars. Well, we're all just, you know, star matter, guys. Come on now. Stardust. You're made up of stars. Can you believe that? I, I'm a star bright. <laughs> He's a star <laughs> man. Just blew your fucking mind right now. <laughs> I went all Neil deGrasse Tyson on your ass. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. I thought all we were were lines of chalk on a sidewalk. No. Not tonight, brother. Not tonight. We're Stardust tonight. All no. we are is dust All we are in the star- wind. All we are is stars in the sky. Just waiting Ooh. to be burned out. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> they're gonna listen to this and steal that lyric. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's a million. That's a million album seller to the trailer parks in Kentucky, right, right there. Get that well, what guy. do you always say? What's you his know? name? Wish upon a star. Wish upon a star. <laughs> yeah, no, uh-huh. that star's been dead for years, yes. just like your dreams. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> get that new country singer to do that song. I think what it'd be really new good. country Chris singer? Gaines. Chris Gaines, bro. Chris, bro, Chris Gaines is not He's new. not a country singer. And he's not country. What is he singing? He's singing pop, bro. He's bro. like emo, no. bro. Yeah, he cried a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot? A lot. Mm, a lot. Dude, how much did they hype that, though? Remember that was coming out? Oh, that out? was fucking crazy. It was on every fucking channel. He came out dressed as Chris Saturday Gaines. Night Live. He came out dressed as Chris Gaines on like TRL and did a whole fucking interview. As Chris Sucks Gaines. As Chris Gaines. <laughs> it was fucking insane. Well, know, sometimes you just got to be a different person. Like all the little kids on the show. I want to be a different person. For the rest of the podcast. Stop I'm being gonna, a different person. Remember that a different movie? Person. Stop being a different person. <laughs> but I'm not turtle enough for the turtle club. Turtle. 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 Movie reference. Movie, Movie reference. Movie. Master of Disguise. <laughs> Dana Carvey's finest work. Oh, shit. Or what was that other movie Dana Carvey did where he pretended he was... Uh, Wayne's World's his best work. Yeah. That's true. There's that other movie he did where uh, he pretended to be a house guest, but he was like a robber, a thief, and he ended up taking the baseball from her dad. Sandlot? Sandlot? No. <laughs> That's what it no. sounded like to me. <laughs> no, no, no. He stole the baseball, and then the Beast took it, and they couldn't no. get it back? No, And it was signed by Baby, Baby Ruth. Ruth. Some, some, some lady. lady. <laughs> some lady tiger. Some kind uh, of lady some tiger. Some kind of lady tiger, you know? You uh, never know. Oh That's probably my favorite movie of all time right there. Scarface. 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 Scarface, me, Scarface got everything in it. Yeah. Action. Uh, comedy. Incest. Some good comedy. Incest. Yeah, remember at the end, right before his sister gets shot? Fuck me, Tony. Yeah. You want to fuck me, Tony? They didn't fuck. Oh, yeah, she, they didn't fuck. They, they, she would have. She was going to take it. She, she she was gonna take it. I want all this, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the sugar. badass gangster movies. That Casino, Goodfellas. See, oh. I don't think of Scarface as a gangster movie though, because it's and really then, not. It's more. A, it's a drug lord movie. Do you know what, man? You <laughs> it's the rise. It's the rise. It's a rise of a drug lord. It's a. It's an underdog story. He only had two things: is where did his balls. <laughs> That was it. How'd you get that star, scar on your face? From eating pussy. <laughs> it must have been some bad pussy. Where'd you get that scar, tough guy eating pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, get a I mean, a like movie that, that starts out like that. Yeah, it's, it's gold right there. See, I love Scarface because you get all the one-liners and shit, but Full Metal Jacket has a lot That's of that shit, too. One. Yeah, but Full Metal Jacket was like two movies. It like was the right. First, the beginning, yeah. the first half, like with the drill sergeant. Yeah, was the fucking, basic training. And then as soon as that was over, shit hit the fan. The fucking movie took a left <laughs> turn quick. Hard. And They're just I was in like, the shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> oh man, I There's... fucking I didn't. I I I loved the beginning, but after that, I was like, because you like the lion yeah, sucking yeah. golf balls through a garden. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know. In all honesty, <laughs> in all honesty, that first oh, it's almost an hour, I believe. You can just. Yeah. R- roll credits. Cut it off. Yeah. Roll right credits. There. End the movie. Yeah. 
That and, w- and you could do like the split screen where Joker went on to do this. Maybe it was supposed Tex to be went two on to movies. Do this. They just made it into one. Well, that's what happened with Furious Seven. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Furious Seven was. Are you sure to be that's the right movies. number? It's not on seventeen. The or? one where the where they where the plane the <laughs> runway went on for um, two states. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where they're jumping out of planes and cars? Huh? No, the other one where they were actually inside the plane and then it exploded. Oh, Is yeah. The one where Remember they the on the runway the and the that's runway the, went through Texas that's the one where to Gail, California? Yeah, Gail, that's the one where Gal Gadot dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert. You yeah, fucking spoiler just killed alert. it for everyone oh. listening. Everyone's not I'm seen so it. I'm so sorry so for his ignorance. So it was supposed ignorance. to be two movies. <laughs> one movie was supposed to be called The Fast. Guess what the second movie was supposed to be called? Uh, Ooh, was furious. It the Furious? It was. For oh, 200, Bob. <laughs> I'll take The Furious. I'll take The Furious. <laughs> Anal bum covers. What is The Furious? Oh, it's Furious. So Furious. I'll take The Rapist. So That's Therapist. So these names, <laughs> these, these names are all riding around the Fast and Furious, Fast 5, oh, yeah, Fast yeah. 8. So they're making 10 of them. What do we got for 9 and 10? What Ooh. are you guys thinking? I think it's furiously fast. Maybe they could just go back to being <laughs> regular street racing. They, they just come back and they're done being. They're just like, no, nah, I don't want that. But it's they not won't because they crunch the numbers. and We're losing make, a shitload of money. They make right more is. money. Let's let's go back to stealing VCRs off of trucks. No, right. Gonna... The old-fashioned, good old American way. Dude, that shithole movie made like fucking oh, $20 billion. That, dude, that, that movie boosted everyone in that franchise's career. Made everyone no, get I'm rice cans. No, talking about cans. the last one. Oh, the last one made like twenty billion dollars. Yeah, <laughs> it also cost six hundred million to because make it. Because you some get bullshit. fucking, you know, a bunch of guys showing up in brodozers, <laughs> fucking like, oh, new Vin Diesel family. <laughs> fucking, we're gonna get this. You know what I'm saying? I here's here's what's the over- if you're running uh-huh. a secret operative. I mean, you're telling me no one, no one in the fucking special forces can drive a car. Better than Vin Diesel? Oh, no. We gotta get Vin Diesel. No, he's exactly. fucking. Dom nasty. Toretto is the Dom Toretto is the greatest car driver in the history of I mean, car drivers. I mean, Fast and Furious is basically turning into the Expendables. Yeah, I just, just remember Man Apart. I watched that ass. literally. Think today, this Man morning Apart. it was on Man Apart. Is that the Denzel movie? Nah, it's the Vin Diesel movie where he's, he's the, going against the cartel and they kill oh, his wife. And yeah. Oh, yeah. He grows the goatee. God. It was you grows, watch that again. Oh, my Free God. Free Will? It was you were tied on. to a chair when you're, you know, I turned the TV I on. I almost want to say that movie was written for Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> but he was just like, oh, this movie sucks way too much for me to even do it. You said a man apart and someone watched it. I was like, all I could think of like Clockwork Orange. Like the guy's got his eyes fucking <laughs> peeled open. <laughs> peeled open. He can't close them. You're like, fuck. I can't look torture. away. I remember. <laughs> Man apart. Get fucked. <laughs> you know what, though? The movie Boiler Room, he actually was decent in because he had like six lines. Yeah, I think yeah, one of the better ones. Around of... Guys was probably my favorite. Yes. That one guys. scene at the bar, was that was it. Five that hundred. 10 seconds. 500 what? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you can just then Google this clip on YouTube. The Vin Diesel from fucking Knock Around Guys. Probably his best work, and it lasts 15 seconds. Should have got a Grammy. <laughs> a <laughs> Grammy? Wouldn't it be an Oscar? Yeah, that too. He should have won them all. Get them all the awards. Eight, Every one of them. Yeah, just I don't know, I don't Diesel, know what Vin awards. Vin Diesel. Should have got best fucking music video of the year. You know what? I don't. I don't listen to hip hop anymore, and I. I know exactly why. Did you guys see any of the highlights from the BET Awards? No, No, I missed it. Trash. (laughs) How did you watch that? Did you have your eyes peeled open? Oh my god! Well, dude, I'm on. You know, I go down the YouTube vortex, and all that's popping up is like, oh, this guy's performance. This guy's performance. Let like, me guess. Oh, DJ Khaled. Like and he's got his eyes perform. open real big like he always does. <laughs> we the best. I'm just like, what is this guy doing up there? He's huffing and puffing. His fat ass can't even climb the, tr- the <laughs> pyramid that he's performing on. Oh. Sweating. Got an oxygen tank at the top. Fucking we Billy Ray Cyrus is getting a standing ovation at the BET Awards. I mean, help oh, my yeah, dude, over he made a rap song, here. or did they make a country song? Dude, Old Town Road. Old Town Road. It's Billy Ray Cyrus. Trank. Well, he's on it. Garbage. He's featuring. Dude, Billy Ray's bars are I, better than half these rappers. I so. still 
have not listened to that song all the way through. What it's is only it? like a minute and fifty six seconds. Have I haven't got past the first? You can listen four to Jeff's daughter words. sing the whole thing. She knows it word for word. Yeah, and she's yeah. three, four, almost five, almost five, almost five. We can count. <laughs> you could count. Could <laughs> count. Me, 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 you in the parking lot. Movie reference. reference. Movie reference. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mickey Rourke's that brings lips. up another fucking <laughs> good point about fucking movies we grew up like Loving. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Fucking some of the best movies ever. Yeah. Adam Sandler, some of the best movies ever. Like, wh- wh- what the fuck is happening? Like well, you it. watched a new one, didn't you? Yeah, the new one wasn't See, horrible. The new one, what I new heard one? wasn't bad. The Murder mi- Mystery. Murder Mystery. Uh, I Netflix. haven't caught that yet. It does look somewhat funny, but. No, yeah, it was. It was, you know what? It reminded me of that Clue. Remember Clue from back in the day? I remember Clueless. You know, yeah. No, Clue Whatever. was ever. Clue was Pound the movie. Sign. Clue was the movie made about the board game Clue, and it had uh, Tim Curry in it and a bunch of other guys. But someone gets murdered. They try to figure out I who did it. This. Colonel Mustard and the fuck. Yeah. With the fucking candlestick. I saw yeah. this already. It was called Murder on the Oriental Express, and that shit sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that one? Yeah. I Googled it. it. Trash. Trash. Yes, you fucking suck. <laughs> I Googled it. It said it fucking sucked, and I watched it anyway. That was O-Town's website. It fucking sucked. That was O-Town's Ooh, website. The good. Such a good movie. I moved toys, motherfucker. Mother trucker. He didn't say fucker because he was a kid. Because he was a kid. All right. To that. Just got to say. You can only eat breakfast at a strip club. (laughs) Mom used to cook bacon all day. (laughs) Naked all day long. What other movies were shit that you you were hyped up for? The first Mission Impossible. I remember that. That was a giant pile of shit. I still still to this day don't know what the fuck is going on in that movie. All... Who's the uh, guy that he meets and he throws the bubble gum at the glass? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The once again, lazy writing. Hey, I hey, don't get it. Hey. All of them are just action movies. He's just. It's a. It's a look at the keys. The no, third one was stop. fucking amazing. No. Listen, guns, action movies. Yeah, but Commando was an action movie, and that has some of the yeah, greatest he lines. Two hundred and fifty-seven people from the hip. Remember what I told you? I kill you last. I lied. I lied. Never aimed down sight. Never, no. not once. He cut a dude. Well, with all those bullets, you don't need to aim. No, no. And he cut that dude's it's head with the someone. fucking saw blade. Yeah. Dude, he Arnold threw a... holding a machine gun's like me holding a fucking super soaker. Ar- Arnold threw that fucking saw blade, perfect, and just chopped that dude's fucking head. That's off. what happens. Yeah, you never. That's done why that. you have rules on a job site. Man, let There's some safety steam. regulations because saw Hard blades. At. Yeah, just go flying. <laughs> that dude that dude apparently wasn't an ocean. I just like the fact that he fought the Freddie Mercury, <laughs> the Jack Freddie Mercury wannabe. Well, the problem is that they had a different actor in mind for that role, and they already fitted him for that mesh fucking Dago T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they had the got a new link. actor, and guess what? He was a little bigger, but they didn't. Uh, no, they didn't. Add any links they to didn't nothing. Splurge. It wasn't in the budget. <laughs> they it's didn't not splurge the for a new mesh Dago. They had they had to keep it on there for the fucking. You know, some little old lady explosions. she knitted that mesh. Oh no! Tank that, top for him. That was one hundred percent some six year old in China. In the sweatshop. In the sweatshop, because that was I my bo- fingers hurt. Yeah. Oh yeah, your fingers hurt. Well, you're not gonna get your bag of Cheetos to feed your family this week. <laughs> Whoa! I was going to a movie, bro. Now your back's gonna hurt. <laughs> you just pulled lawn duty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a nice warm glass of milk before, but it helps me sleep. How about you have a nice warm glass of shut the hell up? <laughs> you will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. One of these podcasts, I think we're going to talk the entire time movie quotes. What do you oh, think? Oh, God. We, we would need longer than an hour. Yeah. No words, just movie quotes. Well, just technically, quotes. they're words. Touche. No, that no, was fucking deep. No, no normal thoughts. Normal thoughts. No unsolicited ideas. We're gonna censor ourselves like the Communist Party. I bet that would be challenging in a way as well. It would. That would be fun uh, segment we'll have to try when we're really fucked up. Because we're not now. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck are you talking about? So Jeff. How was your golf today? It was fucking great. <laughs> Why are you drunk, Jeff? I'm drunk because of golf. Why is that? 
Huh? Why is that? <laughs> I'm not very good at golfing. I like golfing. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. And as you get older, it's like, I remember we were at the bar with your brother, and it's like, we've been drinking since noon. It's 3.30, and he's like, he just looks at us, and he's like, you guys want to play basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great like, idea. Basketball? <laughs> basketball? Hell no, I don't want to play basketball. I want to play a fucking man's game. Bowling and golfing. That's my speed right how now. Is, how is bowling not the Wisconsin State sport? It's so much fun. It's You're five feet away from a bar. I thought it was. How's that go? You're not on a bowling team. You're on a drinking team I'm that bowls. Yeah. Team no, you're on a drinking problem. team with a bowling problem. <laughs> That's how you do it in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a drinking team with a bowling problem. It's, it's one of my 12 steps. I got to figure this out. It is fun to do a league, especially if they have like the pot where at the end you go on a trip to Vegas or something and everything's leading to the party. Like I do with my work week leads me to here. Party. Oh, my God. No, golfing's fun though. You, if, even though you fucking suck at it, it's like, whatever, it's something it's to do. Challenging. Yeah, it is mental. Yeah, challenging. Challenging, not for me to fucking snap a club over my knee and <laughs> drive, drive, drive a cart. <laughs> drive a cart into the fucking pond. Oh shit! Boner <laughs> kickstands back. Look at him crawling under the garage. Fucking linger, man. <laughs> oh. Fucking ninja just crawled in through the door, ninja. popped his head up, and then just crawled the fuck out. Ninja vanish. Very gingerly. Ninja vanish. That was a ninja vanish. Oh, sorry. I want you to collect as many bells as my you nuts can down. without making a noise. You guys have to come golf next time, bro. It's a man sport. Oh, for sure. Hey, what's Master Splinter know. doing up there? Coming. <laughs> to, conclusion. to a decision. Conclusion. <laughs> Tires screeching. As long as I don't hear a crunch. He's yeah, the fuck like my here. car. Man, your brother's fucked up tonight. Woo! Yeah, crawling it is what in it out is. like a ninja. It is what it is. Let's move on to another topic. How about Mickey Rourke's lips and how no, shitty they are? I want to talk about how <laughs> fucked up your brother got tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, he's a big boy. <laughs> yeah, handle a lot of liquor. Woo. I've seen some people fucked up in my life. But that. Yeah, they were a little blurry, though. Because you're probably just as fucked up. Oh, yeah. But I didn't admit it. I'll no, I'm fine. Not as drunk as you think <laughs> I am. Well, you know, this is, in all honesty, this is our <laughs> second attempt on this podcast because the first one we had to stop 15 minutes in. Because uh, Sean's brother was fucking shitbag wasted sitting in a chair about two feet away <laughs> off of 15 blue chews got a raging boner just screaming humping just humping the air forever nah I got a funny story about humping the air though okay oh, you do I'm not gonna tell it right now we're gonna wait <laughs> for next week what? that's Dude, a tease no that's a perfect setup that's for called it. a tease right? bro oh man at the halfway point giving out them teases good stuff I feel like this guy's all about teasing I know he's just rubbing but rubbing. do we remember do we bring back the tease because no. I feel like no, we never fucking bring back the teas, right? Because you don't remember, so you should just say it. Say what's on your just mind. Say it. Well, I had this, um, these people, you know, came over. They people. partied, got all fucked up. People. Oh, I love this story. People this got story all makes fucked me happy. up, and uh, they're like, "Oh, we're just gonna stay here." I'm like, "Yeah, fine, cool." I was like, "Oh, let's fucking watch a movie." So we're watching this movie. Everyone passes out but me. <laughs> well, that you're good for that, though. You, you for some reason, have movie stamina. Yeah. Well, I, I, I know, and I've seen it 15 <laughs> movie times. Movie stamina strong. They've never seen How do you fall asleep during a movie you've never seen before? No, it's hard. How do you fall Unless asleep? How do you fall asleep in the during watching The Room? Really, how do you fall asleep watching it's that movie? Bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, he's, you know, mid-sleep. And I, like, hear something. And I look over. And this guy's just gyrating the air. What? Yeah, he's humping the air saying, eh, Katie, Katie, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> and I'm looking around like, am I getting punked? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the camera at? What the fuck is going on? Ashley this dude's Kutcher, really just humping the air right now. She's probably on that Bluetooth, bro. He just went back to sleep. 
Hey, man, he was, you know, sometimes you got to get it. He would have been pissed if you would have woke him up from that dream. You fucking motherfucker. Well, I don't want I'm him, talking about I don't this want pearl. him to come to sleep and wake up or we locked eyes. <laughs> you don't want to wake I up and lock eyes. Coming. It feels so ah, good. Jesus Christ. You don't want you didn't want that load on your soul? No. <laughs> you lock You're like eyes. Raiders of the Lost Ark. And you fucking yeah. ah, everyone's burning alive. <laughs> Just <laughs> melted in the middle of the room. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean it fucking happens, bro. You know? Yeah, sometimes you gotta hump the air. Yeah. If you're ever that fucked up and uh, you're humping the air, I feel like you had a good time. That was a good night. Yeah, you took it to pound town in the air. <laughs> you, it's, you, you wonder the choices that you make that get you to those points. See, the problem is, is there? You, it's not uh, the choices. It's what the inebriates take you to. So, you got to have good people surrounding you. Yeah, but sometimes even when you have good people surrounding you, you still fucking drive, Dude, off, the cliff, shit. drive off the cliff. I'm not driving off any cliff. Metaphorical cliff, oh. sir. Because that would just be dumb. Who jumps off a fucking cliff? I don't know. Who tries to do backflips and belly flops? Cliff divers. <laughs> cliff divers <laughs> jump off cliffs. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they get paid for it, too. There's a whole red. There's a whole Red Bull sponsorship where they fucking. There's a whole racket. Well, what do you do for a living? A jump off cliffs. Professional, what if his name was Cliff? Professional diver, bitch. <laughs> so, What's your name, sir? Cliff. Cliff diver. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff. Do? Cliff McJump and stuff. <laughs> what, what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, ah, Cliff McJump and stuff. I, I dive off cliffs. I'm not jumping off of it, anything. You, you ever notice, too, those guys are always really fit? You never see a big fat guy doing that? What are they working out for? Well, because you want to make the least splash as possible. No, I want I want some six foot eight, 340 fucking monster. Cannonball. That would be the best. That would probably get more ratings, like a 300-pound sumo wrestler. If he and, was on the team? And, dude, just yeah. how many flips he could do before he just how fucking... High the, how high the splash goes? That's what I want to see. Right. If there's any water left in the pool, that when should he lands. be the measurement. How big the splash is. Oh yeah, that was 11 feet on the Richter scale. What That's was uh, in uh, Coneheads when she dives in? And there's no splash. <laughs> just, yeah, because her fucking head is yeah. so aerodynamic. Perfect yeah, it was, score. It was a. Per- <laughs> and fuck the person who didn't give Travis Pastrana a perfect score in his double backflip. Yeah, that's true. And fuck the guys that didn't give Jordan the fucking 50 on the free throw line dunk. He did get a 50 no, on the free didn't. throw line No, he didn't. He got a 48. Dunk. At home? He got a 48. Which one? Which yeah. time? The free throw it? line dunk, he got a 48. Greatest of all time. Not at home, he didn't. He got a 50. The other, the, it must have been the other one, though. Must have been the first one. He got a Still 48. A Don't be spreading rumors on here. I just watched it. Greatest Spread of lies. all time. Without Go. question. Well, some people him. want to question it, but. They can question it all they want. I and saw they can be wrong. I saw, I saw. I've seen both of them with my own eyes. And Jordan was a more dominant player. LeBron James. When Le- talk about a man crush. When LeBron wins Defensive Player of the Year, we can talk. Ooh. Now a, they'll give it to him so he can fucking. No, nah, he's a fucking good player. I'm not he's, gonna hate. Oh, he's, he's a freak he's a, athlete. He, he's a great player. You know, Jordan's oh, better. Fucking... End of story. The problem is now though is all the flopping and all the dancing. I can't and shit. stand he that. Would... I wish they'd bring hand checking back. Mm. You fucking just D up and not these wide open shots. <laughs> they're, now they're fucking juicing the baseballs too. Leave sports alone. There's nothing Frankie, wrong with it. They've been juicing the baseball. That's how they got baseball back. No, the baseball players were juicing. Yeah. <laughs> now they're just juicing the balls. <laughs> yeah, in all honesty, if it wasn't for Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire, da- baseball would be a dead sport. Baseball would be dead. It's not? No. Baseball. Completely dead. I mean, I'm I mean, still no, rooting for Chicago it, teams. Well, they were talking about it. The, they were talking about the other day. They're they're like uh, ten years ago. The average uh, person who watched baseball was 47 years old. <laughs> they're like ten years later. The average person who watches baseball is 57 years <laughs> old. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same motherfuckers like, yeah. watching it. And yeah, then, and then they're, ten years they're, be 60 they're year fucking olds? bitching. They're like, oh, they're fucking you know, baseball. Little League's the best, and it's like, yeah, no, who doesn't play fucking, my fucking boys watch fucking, you know, they play Little League. Every kid plays Little League. Yeah, they don't want to watch it. Yeah, that's real exciting to watch. Bet on that. 
Well, I'm just saying they you play it, but the they don't watch it. <laughs> no, no one's watching. Everyone's drinking in the stands, acting like they're watching. You can't drink at those games. Yeah, because it's in a fucking Starbucks cup. Hey you guy, know it's a bottle hey of wine in there. Hey, guy. Can't drink at those games, man. Don't be giving out don't, the mom don't be, secrets. Don't be giving out the mom secrets. Don't Watch be, those dads, don't too. Be, don't be pouring salt on their game. There's a reason why they have koozies on their beer cans. I thought I it mean was weird pops. when I see one of the moms drinking out of a suntan lotion bottle. <laughs> 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 that, that SBF 40. <laughs> she's really trying to get fucked about. It oh, gets she's not in the bloodstream quicker. <laughs> blocks the it, sun it blo- better. <laughs> it blocks it from the inside out. I'm not trying to get. And then I was hard. like, "Fuck, maybe she's right." And I came home and drank some, but didn't work too well. No, <laughs> no, it didn't go. But your really shit well. slid out real nice. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> no, there was. It was just that. It was that dive from fucking. Uh, no, just hit the water perfect time. Yeah, no fucking no splashback. Splashback. So, my ass didn't even fucking hit the sea yet. <laughs> <It was> fucking, <laughs> pew. fucking laser beams. Splashback. Pound sign. <laughs> splashback. <laughs> I love when I got a big shit and it splashes up. It's like a free bidet. <laughs> <laughs> of huh? piss water. You feel, you feel like you're uh No, you fucking hawk a roll. big old fucking turd and the water <laughs> splashes up. You're like, oh, this could be an easy wipe. <laughs> Get dude wipes, bro. Not a sponsor. I had dude wipes, bro. My like, ass was never cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go down there and toss my own salad. That's how clean oh, my dude, ass was. So clean. I bet your ass is real clean when you shaved it. Oh god, that was the worst time of my life. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Talk I don't about want your, to talk about it. Talk about your chafed <laughs> asshole. Bring back memories so that I don't want to talk about. So gets the bright idea of fucking shaving shaving his ass. Not like trimming it. I tra- like I, normal the whole human. body. It was my whole body. There was yeah, no but hair. the ass is what we're really talking about here. And, you know, when you, like, shave your face or you shave your body, it starts growing back and it itches. So Frankie shaves his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and we, and he decides to go to the fucking county fair. <laughs> no, I've never been to the county fair, and that Lake was just county the perfect fair, weekend, you son huh? of a bitch. What was it? Lake County Fair we went to. All right, you keep saying that. I remember it. I did, because we walked part. around, and it was right outside the horse stables. <laughs> and you were walking and like, like you just shit. got off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so we were going, bad. They had motocross riding at the fucking... Uh, did they have the... It the was wheel of death. Derby and motocross we went and watched. Did they have the ball Well, of we death? didn't make it because you had to stop <laughs> and lean up against the light pole. Because you're, <laughs> you're like, bro, bro, I can't fucking walk anymore. My ass. I was it's sweating so and chafing. chafing so bad. I think we, I think I threw the towel and said, we're out of here. Yeah, we left. I don't think we stayed. Because you couldn't walk. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> this is a PSA. Don't shave your ass. If you're Italian, don't make the same mistakes. Don't do it. Don't bro. do what we do. You can do. trim it. Maybe get D- it waxed, D- but w- you w- got to keep it down. <laughs> Once it starts growing back and you get those that 5 o'clock shadow on your butthole, <laughs> it oh. ain't fucking good news. You got that 80 grit sandpaper asshole. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Never again. Why, why is the toilet paper bloody? I don't know. <laughs> but my asshole hurts. I was so much better. No more Taco Bell. <laughs> no. Burns. I just remember you stopping and leaning on that pole, and I'm like, what the fuck's up, bro? I give it all I could. I can't. I can't. I'm like, what do you mean you can't? You can't what? I can't walk. My butthole's chafed. (laughs) I fucking almost died. Oh. Why why did you shave your butthole? I shaved my whole body. But why your butthole? Because 15 years ago or whatever, 12 years ago, I was a work of art. My body was like a fucking sculpture. Everything was shaved. Everything. I had no hair on so except my head. Were you, you shaving your butt hell for your boyfriend? Yeah, I was like, ooh, get in there. Well, I'm just asking. I, I mean, it's okay. I think, I think it was because a girl made a comment when I got up after sex and walked to the bathroom. And she's like, God damn, you got a hairy ass. I was like, oh. Well, I got Noted. the same problem, too, because I got this, like these white swim trunks. Kayla's like, every time those fucking swim trunks get wet, I can see your hairy ass. 
<laughs> you know it's bad when you're wearing swim trunks and you can see the hair on your ass <laughs> through them. <laughs> it looks like the fucking dog from the Muppet that's, Show. Right? That's a reason. When <laughs> someone tells you they can see your ass hair through your shorts, that's when you shave your yeah. ass. When you're at the lowest, <laughs> of your low. Yeah, that's what it comes to. <laughs> or you just don't buy white. Swim trunks. Yeah, bro. He's trying to put a vibe out there. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, but you know how much tanner you look in white swim <laughs> trunks? <laughs> <laughs> like a negative. I'm not going to get black swim trunks. But I feel like black darkens you up as well. You no. just don't want to get like, I mean, what about bright pink and yellow? It's like when you wear like, a, oh, yeah, I got that too. You yeah, know you got your fucking truck, you big old badass trucker and your neon yellow. Caution. <laughs> I'm coming, motherfucker. <laughs> They got all these Yeah, guys. but he doesn't wear the Speedo outside. Got <laughs> I've seen him in his Speedo more than I want to admit. I'm just saying he doesn't wear the Speedo in the truck. I have pictures. <laughs> He's looking back mean like a dragon. This fucking, every, everyone at the fucking, you know, who drives the trucks, they got on like overalls and work boots and shit. I fucking hop out in shorts, Nikes, and a pink shirt. <laughs> I'm like, what up? <laughs> <laughs> I drive this truck. I drive this motherfucker. So, yeah, you know the new gay guy in the pink shirt that always comes up? Shit. That looks like John Wick stunt double. <laughs> the boogeyman. The boogeyman. It's the fucking the boogeyman. The fucking boogeyman. <laughs> dude, I'm not. Uh, you do look just like him. <laughs> dude, the, dude, it's perfect. I, yeah. That's my. It might be my Halloween costume this you, year is fucking John Wick. I mean, I'll go as John Stamos. You looked like Negan. <laughs> you looked like Negan when you did Negan. And yeah, I'm a fucking chameleon. And that creepy, yeah, and that creepy like, lady commented on the post about you look like Wolverine I want to kick too. him out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. Fucking, I'm a, just a chameleon. Who else did I do? The I Wolverine. Just, the Wolverine. Oh, yeah, man. Wolverine. That was an easy. You look one. just like him, dude. Yeah, so when I you, look just like everybody. When you cut the white trash mullet in, was you did look my like favorite. Jay from Jay and Silent Bob pretty good too, and you were a fucking perfect Silent Bob. Yeah, yeah, the problem is, is I was not so silent, Bob. And, well, like and, drunk and fucked up, screaming, Bob. <laughs> Yo, that, that the was, sign that, <laughs> on the back of the bus says "Critters of Hollywood." You, you just channeled that, fuck. Bob. Dude, that might have been my best microphone work to date, though. I remember that was we had. It was the sexiest costume contest. And I used the line, hey, baby, you ever look at a, a fat guy's asshole wearing an overcoat? That's not the line. That's not the line at all. Hey, baby, have you ever, you ever had your like, asshole licked yeah. by a fat man in an overcoat? Sorry, we are recording Bong. this at 2.30. <laughs> Is it fucking 2.30? Yeah. 2.30 in Two the morning. Th- <laughs> This is AM, not PM. What Where are you going to be? Outside of the corner. Hey, where'd you get that cheeseburger? Out the machine. Out the machine. Out the machine. <laughs> what time's break over? 10.30. I always feel so bad when I'm like, there's this fucking, I go to this place to pick up some fucking dirt, and there's the Mexican guy there. I can't understand a fucking word he's saying. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? Huh? But like, at what at what point is it like, can you imagine if you were talking to someone and they're like, "Huh, what?" Yeah, it it huh? It just happened. Yeah. Just happened like a half hour. I ago. was gonna say yeah, all the fucking John's time. brother. <laughs> I had no fucking clue what he was talking about. <sighs> it's gotta be your bull. It's gotta be your bull. <laughs> <laughs> Movie reference. Movie reference. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a guys. I tell you what. <sighs> This drink's going down pretty smooth. Oh, shit. Oh, the rock star. Oh, man. Tito's and rock Tito's and rock star. Bring on bitches now. Winning combination. Bitches come. Bitches come. Movie reference. That was a social? I think everyone was drinking. Ah, that was a drink. Well, yeah. I drank. I don't know about you fucking. Well. Yeah, well, we had we had Fucking Nasrovia. Man, this Polak that looks Mexican- I am Wanda Brady. So I made a good slogan today when I was golfing. Speaking of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have one more sip. Hold on. Oh, suck it down, boys. Very nice. So the slogan is, I drink because I'm not good at golfing. And I golf and drink. 
I don't remember what the song is. I'm too <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> How did it go? I don't remember. You guys I'm, saw me. I'm a bad golfer, but a better drinker. Uh, Something no, like that. That's not how it goes. Is you it, guys, I'm the wheels a, fell off this motherfucker. I'm on a bowling team it g- <laughs> with a drinking problem. <laughs> 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 I'm on a drinking team with a bowling problem. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Young Francis is having a rough time over here. Uh, I'm having a good time over here. Good old fucking time. Jameson's my best friend. Oh, you like that patties today. And I like the, yeah, the patties was good. I like that fucking gummy bear. It was even better. Dude, that fucking, those gummies yesterday, you got swindled, man. The other gummies sucked. This, today's you gummies need, you, were good. You need to punch that guy and in the face because he gave you a bag of trolleys. Any package with a fucking crooked label, something's, I'm out. something's afoot. He gave you a bag of trolleys fucking Sour Patch Kids. They were delicious. Oh, they were tasty. I'd eat them all day, but <laughs> they didn't get you. They didn't do so, shit yeah, we, to you. We only had like five or six each. Yeah. It was like those bullshit cough drops you'd have in high school. The Ludens? Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't, that's not, you couldn't that's have not candy. cough drops. It's candy. 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 The, the like, cherry. Oh, yeah, my, cough drops, my, my, bitch. My throat sore. <laughs> it's the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're eating candy in class all day. I got a hell of a Yeah, I know it's the middle of summer, but it's preventative. <laughs> Winter's w- coming. Winter's <laughs> coming. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, don't you watch Game of Thrones? You beat me to it. <laughs> you fucking beat me to it, you son of a bitch. Uh, oh, Jesus. I'm always on the offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but defense wins the games. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last podcast. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, it was. I don't give a shit. It made fucking sense to use it. I did. It did. That was a shitty movie reference. It was fantastic. Yeah. Movie reference. Okay. And on that, if you know the name of that movie, there we go. Email us at thegentlemansdenpod at gmail.com to give us the answer, and we'll figure out something to give to you. Hey. It might be a half drank bottle of Jameson and a a love letter. a picture of uh, me and Jeff. Yeah, it might be out there on the interweb. I don't know if you guys you guys did post it. I didn't post shit. I don't fucking last time I posted. Was I don't pound sign anything. Pound sign twenty thirteen. I don't pound sign. Hashtag pound sign. It's just pound sign. Pound sign. Pound sign. <laughs> Kids don't get it twisted. It's pound sign, motherfucker. Pound sign. It's pound sign. I don't know where this hashtag bullshit started. From now on, it's pound sign forever. I want to do a Jalen. Speaking of that movie, I want to do a Jalen Silent Bob and find the person who started hashtag and slap him in the face. <laughs> it's confusing kids forever. I don't know if it was used in that movie. It wasn't used in that movie. No, but they had the, the book at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to list the people's him. ass that needs to be kicked for yeah. starting hashtag? Goddamn right. Well, if you guys want to donate to the podcast so we could find these people. <laughs> yeah, we'll start a GoFundMe for, to beat the shit out of whoever invented, whoever the, hashtag. invented the hashtag. Wait, does that, see, that it's sounds bad now. It's a goddamn pound sign. Now we just feel I'm like we old and angry. <laughs> old and angry? I'm old and angry. Trash. Remember that old man beat your ass at that bar? Put your arm through a window. How dare you? That old man. Yeah, like five minutes after I leave, the best bar fight breaks out, and I'm not even there. Eighty year old man. I wanted just... nothing to do with that bar fight. It was over. There was one. Okay, so we're in we're in Wisconsin. It's a podunk bar. Hold on. Sea donkeys everywhere. Hold on. Ooh, the sea donkeys, the necklace raccoons. There's one hot chick who shows up, and this whole bar goes fucking crazy. <laughs> Everyone's talking to her. Her boyfriend's getting fucking pissed off. All of a sudden, this. I'm standing in the corner minding my own fucking business. All of a sudden, this huge brawl breaks out, and I'm just, like, watching it. And this old man just turns to me out of nowhere and goes, Yeah! <laughs> and just grabs me and attacks me. I'm like, bro! He fucking grabs my arms. I'm trying to grab his arm. My arm goes out the fucking window. <laughs> Did you end up with stitches? Yeah, I got fucking... My wrist got cut open. That eight-year-old fucked you up, Gray Bush. Dude, I just... It just reminds me of all like the old Western I movies. I kicked him like... in his fucking front butt, <laughs> knocked out his dentures. <laughs> that was it. It, remi- it reminds me the of the tone. It reminds me of like every Western movie. Like two guys start fighting, then the whole the fucking whole bar, bar is just yeah. Yeah, I kicked his ass right out the double doors. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back here. 
Uh, movie reference. Now that movie was the craziest. I, I don't. I don't know why that fucking guy just looked at me. Yeah. He didn't like uh, how you looked. Right. He gave me the. He's fucking like, that's Jean the Claude. fucking boogeyman. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> fuck with the boogeyman. We're gonna do one of my favorite bar fights because <sighs> that's obviously Jeff's one and only favorite bar fight. Getting uh, ass whipped by eighty year old. It was actually Fourth uh, of July weekend, probably twelve years ago now. Long time, General. Yeah, long time. I definitely long. wasn't 21. Uh, yeah, Riverside was still alive, so 13 years ago. Uh, we, Me and my old roommate decided we're going to go to our town has a little fair every year, so we go down there. And Come just, on down to the fair. Is we, it a fair? It, it's, it's a festival, <laughs> if you will. Uh, I mean, if sweet corn's there, that's a fair. Yeah, right? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's true. If if there is sweet corn, that is the. Uh, but they gotta the have a fucking butter bucket, <laughs> or else it don't count. So, our buddy was playing at uh, a bar in town. Can't name it. Sorry, it had twelve different names. And if you've listened to my podcast, you know exactly what bar I'm talking about. So after drinking five or six pitchers. We decide to go over there to watch my buddy play some music. And before we leave, we see these kids, early 20s, 21, probably most likely 18, 19, 21, kind of with. Uh, Those fuckers were 15. Yeah, probably. With uh, the shortest shorts you can buy and the sleeves on their shirt cut all the way down to the end. So it like shows the lats off. Real, real snakes. Yeah, real tough, you know, tough guys. Definitely summer home kids from up here. <laughs> So we go over to said bar, and I'm like, I've been drinking beer all day. I want something different. I'll have a chocolate martini. Why? I slam that down, and I'm like, Why? wow. A chocolate out of anything? Where does, yeah, all the because choices. Because I really wanted a glass of yoo Because <laughs> <laughs> I was that drunk, and I wanted some yoo A little yoo and rum. A little yoo So I hammered down two chocolate martinis, and... Like I a real I gentleman would. Like a real gentleman. Pinky was, my pinky was out the whole pinky time, up, bro. Pinky's and, up, bro. Pound sign, pinky's up. Pound sign, pinky's up. <laughs> and then uh, did a couple shots of Rumpelman. So I'm pretty sure we did a couple Soko and Limes. Oh, God. And then those kids show up. Those guys show up. And uh, they're drunk, and my buddies, it's like almost 2 o'clock, so it's almost time to close the bar anyway. I they walk up while he's playing and they grab the microphone away from him and start singing Dirty Deeds by A C D C which Dave, they no no. You don't touch the microphone. So all I did was politely walked up and unplugged the microphone. Politely politely. 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 Very, very politely. And I looked at the kid and I said, Put the fucking microphone down. Real Thanks. politely. <laughs> I bet <laughs> in, in a very polite as fuck. In a very polite voice. But once again, I was like Barry from uh, Beer Fest. Looking good, Barry. <laughs> so anyway, one guy spits beer, and it gets on one of my listeners. That's crazy because you were so polite. Good so old, polite. Why would that happen? Good old good old cousin <laughs> cousin Hef, cousin Hefe. And he ends up picking this kid up by his lats and throwing him across the bar. And the kid the whole time is trying to get his sandals. That's all he wants to do is get his sandals as my Crocs, bro. As the bar breaks out into a brawl, and there's one guy that just kept balls talking. on the guy that wore Crocs out in public. I swear to God, no, it was, bef- it was before Crocs. <laughs> it was before Crocs. They were toe sandals. They were they definitely were they were guy. definitely flip flops. So we, I have the bartender on my back and the owner in front of me trying to stop me from killing this kid that said it's, he's <laughs> going to fuck my mom and murder my family. Somebody hit somebody. And as the pile goes outside, Cousin Hefe comes up into my ear and says, there's always a back door. So we both turn and look, and there That's is. That's what I told my girlfriend when she's on the rag. You don't even have to knock. <laughs> the back door is always open. That's a movie reference, too, if you know that movie. So we go out the back door. I jump over the rail, and there is a sea of humanity in the middle of the street. Cars backed up on both sides as this giant brawl is going on in the middle of the street. And uh, so I'm just waiting. 
because I'm looking for the guy that was talking shit to me. I'm not going to hate anybody else. I'm going to get my revenge on the one that fucking talked the shit. Because you're respectful. Because I'm a real respectable <laughs> kind of person. A gentleman, a, if you will. A real yeah. nurturer. Real nurturer. <laughs> so Cousin Hefe is literally chucking bodies left and right, dropping hammers on kids. And then I see the kid that was talking shit to me, and he circles around, and he sucker punches Cousin Hefe in the back of the head. Cousin Hefe, before he can get fuck out and what the fuck, I sent a fucking laser beam of a right hand from Cuba, (laughs) (laughs) and I was aiming for this kid's chin. And I smacked him directly in his teeth. And it made a very distinct squish sound. <laughs> you that, got knocked the fuck out. That made everybody quit fighting. <laughs> so, Set the toad. So I go back into the bar. As I'm running back into the bar, I'm yelling, think about me <laughs> before you sucker punch somebody. Get back in the bar, grab my stuff, run to my stepfather's house, which is what? Four or five blocks, I would say. About two blocks. What did well, you guys two, do over there? Come Uber up with like no, badass I, Mad Max nicknames? No. Like <laughs> toe Cutter and <laughs> Night Rider? <laughs> yes. Get to the safe house. Yes, then we burnt Get down. to the safe then, house. Then we, then we burnt down a church. <laughs> How dare you? Hey, you know, we were saving kids from getting molested. That was in a movie. I think yeah. it was like Six Mile. <laughs> Six That's two mile? two blocks over from eight mile. I got a fucked up story about that. If you guys want to get into it, all right, we're gonna this this is the last story of the hour. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so anyone out there who's fuck, this is a fucked up story. You got kids, and it's very important to talk to your kids about like being honest and like saying shit and being comfortable. You know, yeah, see like, something, say something. Yeah, I talked to the. To all the kids, I'm like, if anyone, you know, says anything or does anything, like, I want you to tell me. Because a lot of these kids, this is how this shit happens. They don't say nothing. So we had, like, CCD, and it's basically like a a church fucking program where we got to leave grade school for a couple hours. Yeah, it was on Wednesdays, wasn't it? Yeah, fuck it. I'm like, shit, we get out of school? Cool. Basically, Bible study, weekly Bible study. Weekly weekly Bible study. Weekly Bible study. So they fucking, you know, they would get in a bus and we go to the church and then they do all this other shit. And I, I mean, I had a bunch of questions. They didn't like me anyway. I'm like, why is Jesus white? Didn't he grow up in Egypt? Everyone over there is dark. And they're like, yeah, we ain't got time for your shit, Jeff. Shut the fuck up and read the book. But at the end of class, <laughs> at the end of class, everyone fucking lined up and then kissed the priest on the lips. What? Yes. Yes. That's not- I went home and I said, Mom, this is what's fucking happening over there. She goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> we fucking went over there and yeah, I, she's like, my son is not kissing this fucking creep on the lips. She will, He will shake his fucking hand and that is it. And then that's how it starts, you know? So I walked up, I shook his hand and that was it. Pretty soon, everybody... In the fucking class. Yeah, man. You shut the fucking hand. tone. You have to, though. I mean, it's very important. Like, I mean, this is a bullshit podcast that we fuck around. It's a fucked yeah. up story, but I'm being Should serious. be on the learning side. But I had a weird conversation PSA. the other day. Um, we got 10-year-old twin boys. They're not my kids. They're my stepkids, you know, but I I try to treat them. You know, mm-hmm. I, I do treat them like, like they're my They're your own, own. right. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. But you let them be the, the free little men that they are and make their own decisions, and you help just guide yeah, them we had the a, right Yeah, they had a decisions. fucked up conversation. They're like, well, they're talking about Chucky and Freddy Krueger and all this other shit, and they're like, fuck, "What? how did Fre- Freddy Krueger get burned? And like right there, I had an, a moment. I was like, all right, I can either bullshit these kids. Right, or, or you can real tell them the real story. Or I can tell them the real story about how he was a child molester and the parents burnt him alive in the warehouse. Right, when movies were fucking good storylines. Was it in the boiler room? Either was fucking way. Of the high school or the grade school? Because that's where he lived. That's where but he that's lived. how kids are going to fucking learn. That's how I learned. That's how I told my mom about the fucking priest trying to fucking stick his tongue in my mouth. I ain't have <laughs> Shut that shit down. And so I told those zone. kids, I'm like, 
Anyone ever fucking touches you, you fucking tell me. <laughs> Beat their ass. In all honesty, <laughs> that that is good. There's no shame in it. You you gotta if because if you don't, it's not th- shit happens. Your mind. But the problem no. is people get embarrassed about shit. Yeah, and people don't want to talk about stuff, and that's how this shit keeps going on. Like well, someone will like fucking be like, yeah, oh, like shaving your ass, and you don't want the world secret. to know. Yeah, you don't, don't be embarrassed by that. shit. Don't Who be embarrassed, bro. Tell everyone. Your because memories Because someone's going to learn from your fucking mistake, Frankie. Right. Some guy out there has <laughs> probably got a clippers in his hand right now. It's like, bzzz, And oh, he's listening. Man. And he's like, oh, fuck. I better not. Better I fucking put those clippers right back it's in the, the drawer. It's the summer. You don't <laughs> shave ass in the summer because it's going to no. chafe. You probably saved someone's Blurred. chafing ass. Did, some some guy. Because you're honest and you told your some, story. Some guy had a whole case of gold palm. Some guy bought a whole case of gold bond thinking that. Right. I'm not Be honest around. with your kids and don't kiss your local priest. That's <laughs> all, if you take anything from this <laughs> podcast. In, in all honesty, too, side, ca- side note about that priest, he was arrested for child molestation. He was. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so speak up. Yeah. Speak up, fuckers. Yeah. It's not the movie Sleepers. That was a good movie. Though. Very good movie. Kevin Bacon. Bacon. We could play uh, Seven Degrees. Seven, seven, yeah, seven Degrees Separation. <laughs> Kevin Bacon next week. Huh? Shit. Yeah, Remember we, we do would that. do late night uh, joke hour when we'd be like passing out on the floor at like five in the morning at we some would. party. We would just do uh, just jokes one after another. That'll be a good segment. One, one, one yeah, time we could we just do straight up one liner jokes. Yeah, why don't you tell me the one about straight. golfing? Huh? <laughs> 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 I drink because I'm not good at golfing, but I golf better when i drink there it so is. i don't have a drinking problem <laughs> i gotta i want to be better at I golfing gotta, problem i want to be better at golfing problem <laughs> and on that note <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you again you got it. i did it thank you again for listening to the gentleman's den <laughs> it's always a pleasure i fucking love you guys yeah you know the and, and on a serious note all the positive yeah, feedback right. all the positive feedback yeah, we've been cool. getting is it's really humbling that All you guys people are actually that I don't get to talk to. to. You know, you still got my number. I like hearing from. Yeah, them. get on the Twitter book. And, yeah, I'm gonna uh, post pound sign, pound sign awesomeness. Right. Whatever you guys do, pound sign. Yeah, help, keep the giving us know. the shout outs. Keep uh, we're we're building we're building our empire here. Pound sign golfing problem. And you guys are the uh, one building garage blocks at a time. <laughs> you guys are the building blocks for us. Love you guys. So for Frankie, for Jeff, I am Sean. Thank you all very much for listening. And tune in next week for another stimulating conversation from the Gentleman's Then. Goodbye. We out.